Hey guys, today is day 16 of the Gratitude Jam. So I've had a really fun couple days and I've been like really productive and creative the past couple days. But yesterday, last night, after I finished the, um, recording the yesterday's Gratitude Jam, I was like, I'm so beat, I'm so exhausted, I can't wait to go to bed. And the level of exhaustion I was feeling was way beyond what could be justified by the physical exertion that I did that day. So whenever that happens, I know something's going on. Usually what happens is um, when I'm going through a period of intense upgrading energetically, or I'm integrating new learnings, or you know, mental, emotional level that I need to uh, incorporate and integrate something so that I can, you know, spring up to the next level um, after that integration period is done. Usually when that's happening, that's when I feel like super, super exhausted. So notice that in yourself as well. When you feel like sometimes you're just mysteriously very, very tired, that could be what's going on. And whenever you are feeling that, the last thing you want to do is to not give yourself the opportunity to rest because the, the longer you delay the rest, the longer it takes for the integration to happen. So for me, the wisest thing to do when that happens is to rest, you know, go to bed or um, go take a walk or just meditate or, or just sit around and doing nothing, which is like super, super hard for me because you know, I'm a recovering overachiever and uh, I feel like almost uh, always, oh, time is running out. I need to be doing something. Otherwise, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm, you know, I'm just not doing enough um, to make things happen. So this morning I got up and I sat down and tried to work. And I realized I really couldn't because I couldn't keep my thoughts together. I'm, I was still like very, very tired mentally. Um, so, and I sat there thinking, okay, what am I going to do? And I started watching these thoughts coming up that says, oh, you really should work harder. You cannot be sitting here and just do nothing. You such a slacker. Look at, you know, other successful entrepreneurs. Like everybody knows that you have to work harder than everyone else in order to succeed and, and to realize your dreams. So I, know I had all these thoughts going on, which I know is from some very ingrained programming. And I think like most of people have that. A lot of us, we were, we, we were raised um, in the kind of, uh, immersed in the kind of, uh, thought patterns and ideologies that says you have to work harder that if like nothing good comes without hard work which is you know nothing wrong about it but there is a time and space to apply every thought and every uh, logic right so this morning i was watching these thoughts coming up and i was like you know what i'm not going to listen to those thoughts what i really need right now is a good nap and that was like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I actually took a nap at 10 while I was thinking, who does that? Who takes a nap at 10 a.m.? This is like outrageous, especially when you're, when you are running your own company, you should be working harder than anybody else. Right? So, but still, <laughs> I knew like a deeper part of me knew that that was what I needed at the time. So that was basically what I did. I took a very long nap and I got up. It was like 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And then I remember, oh, I have this call that was scheduled a few days ago. And I didn't even know what this call, what, what the purpose of this call was, because it was like a friend's friend, a friend's friend recommended like did it put me in touch with, with uh, this person. Um, I, and I was thinking I, I would jump on the call with him to um, get his takes on some research of a new product that I'm doing, right? 
So I thought at most this call was for research purpose. So I, I just got, you know, I just woke up from a nap and I was like super relaxed. And I was like, uh, I'm just going to talk to this person and see, see what he thinks and he see what he needs. I'm not, I'm not like out there to sell anything. All right. So, and I got on the call and we ended up talking for almost an hour. And that person seemed like very interested in this new thing, new product that we're thinking of designing. And now we are going to talk again, maybe next week, and he could be a potential customer now. So I hang out the phone and I was like, this is so weird. This is like, this call went so well. That's like way beyond what I was expecting. I started like expecting it was like this call was for research purpose, just to hear what this, what the other person thinks and just to pick his brain. Right. So my point is that was like the, that was like the only productive thing that I did today. And that was actually a super productive thing. And if I hadn't taken the rest, if I was in the space that was like, I didn't have enough mental clarity and I was exhausted and I was aggressive and I was pushy. I don't think the call would have, would have gone so well. So I'm very, very grateful today, you know, for the opportunity to take rest because, you know, I have a roof on my head and I have a bed and I have a space, a quiet, uh, um, sacred space here and which allows me to rest and recharge and breathe and do whatever, whatever the hell I want to get me um, energetically and physically and emotionally to the next level. So, uh, I'm very, very grateful for that. And I'm very grateful for this, uh, awesome person that I was in the call today with, um, for his patience, for his, you know, very patiently listening to me and answering my questions and, um, uh, getting me feedbacks and um, it was just way beyond what I expected. So those are the things I'm grateful for today. And this is day 16 of the Gratitude Gym. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. And I'll see you tomorrow.